Today you're going to learn how to do this insanely awesome AI animation effect for your videos. This is inspired by a guy named Malik who made this really popular on social media. So there's a few different ways you can do this. Here in my timeline, I have a hyperlapse video. And what I wanna do is pick a point where I want the effects to start happening. Then I'm going to cut, go a few frames forward and then cut again. Then you wanna select the clip you just cut, right click on it and select a new fusion clip. Go into fusion. All right, so now in Fusion, what we need to do is save each frame as a PNG file. So go ahead with the media in one selected, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in saver. Add a saver node. Come over here to the right hand side and select browse. Pick the file location of where you want to save these PNGs. And then make sure here at the top, you label your file with a .png file extension. Then come down here to the drop down and select all files. Click save. Then come up to Fusion at the very top, select Render All Savers. While that's rendering, go ahead and click on the link down in the description for Dolly. You'll need to make a free account, and then once you do that, on the Dolly website, what you want to do is select Upload an Image. Go to the folder where you saved all the PNG files, and what you want to do is select the first one. Then select Upload. Skip the cropping. Click on this little check mark here. And then what you want to do is drag this blue square around where you want the AI to do some magic. Then select the eraser tool to erase out where you want the AI to be generated. Once you've done that, you'll see a checkerboard behind it. Then come up here to where you can type stuff in. And let's just type in clock face lion. What's really cool is once it's done doing its thing, it gives you four options to select through. And I really like this third one. So once you find the one you like, go ahead and select accept and then come up here to the right hand side and select download. Hop back into DaVinci Resolve and then drag to where you clipped the fusion clip out and let's disable it. Go to your downloads folder and go ahead and drag in that first frame. Now you can see this kind of changes the clock to be an awesome lion. Then what you wanna do to continue this effect is click on this back arrow select upload an image once again and then now let's go to the second png that we rendered out select upload skip cropping click the check mark move this over select the eraser let's just do the clock right now go ahead click up in the prompt and let's type in airplane go ahead and select accept download come back over here to your downloads folder drag it in and now we have our second frame so i'm going to do these next few real quick then what you want to do is drag all the frames down and replace that fusion clip. Then since this goes super fast and you can't really see what it is, go ahead and place a marker on your timeline like so. Then highlight all of the clips, right click and select new compound clip. Create. Click on that first marker, right click on our clip and select retime controls. Then click on the drop down arrow and select speed point. Come back over here, click on the drop down arrow, select speed point. Then what you can do is just click on this upper arrow right here and just drag it to the speed that you want. So let's say 50% looks good. And then if you really want to get fancy, you can right click on the clip, select new fusion clip, go into fusion, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in motion and then add motion blur. Select the better type and actually turn it down to about 20%. Now, I only did about eight frames, but you guys get the idea. Hope you liked it. Like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.